My buddy, who just retired, asked me to go on a shakedown trip for the van him and his wife just bought. We decided a quick overnight trip to Anza Borrego State Park would work just fine. I thought I'd take the opportunity to film the trip and give you an idea of what using the camper for camping is really like. So I packed up all the gear, propane for the fire pit, kettle for the coffee, filled up the water tanks, and charged the battery. Kitchen supplies and food in the front runner flat pack bags, I think they're called. I really like those, they work really well. Along with my stove, fire pit, chair, and my RV fridge slide from Set Power. To fill my water tank, I use this easy to use filter that I got off of Amazon. Water tastes great, and I'm really happy with it so far. Oh, the things you see when you record yourself. I guess it's time for a new flannel. This is where I fill up my water tank inside the camper. Makes it a little safer. And on this trip, I only added about three gallons since it's only one night and it's just me. Now I'm removing the seat cushions from the bench seat inside the camper. This will give me access to the battery box where I hook up the battery charger and charge up the battery. So far everything's holding up well inside the camper. All charged up and ready to go. My 100 amp hour lithium iron battery will run my set power refrigerator for about three days without even using the portable solar panel. It's pretty incredible and I'm pretty impressed. So let's fill up that refrigerator and hit the road. We couldn't be happier from leaving the ice chest behind and moving to the refrigerator. If you're interested in buying a refrigerator, you can use my discount code TBT12 to save 12% on a set power refrigerator. Did you see that ugly ass cyber truck? I see one like that too. They're absolutely stupid.
We had a pretty good rainy season this year and it's made the desert just beautiful. If you get a chance to get out there, don't pass it up. Yeah, the spot I'm talking about is you gotta stay to the left when the road splits, okay? But it's around the next corner a little bit. <laughs> Let's set up the camp kitchen and get something going for dinner. I made a video on making this fold down table that's on the side of the camper if you'd want to check it out. I'll leave a link below. I made this for my Dometic rechargeable faucet. It's basically a one gallon stainless bottle that I can run a hose up to the Dometic faucet and have outdoor water. The faucet also works inside and connects to the five gallon water tank if I want to use the inside tank.
This is my new favorite addition to the camper, this little hidden paper towel roll holder. Gotta have those paper towels. Cheers. For tonight's dinner, we're having Trader Joe's gnocchi, some asparagus with chili flakes, and a couple of steaks. Flake salt? Cooked on the fire on a cast iron skillet. Like a culinary salt? Yeah. So we sat by the fire, enjoyed our meals, and checked out the stars before going to bed. So how was the first night in the van? Great, but it was awesome. Nice. I will say I gotta figure out a uh, getting up to pee was a bit of a pain in the ass. Was it? Yeah. I had to like unlock the vehicle and open the door. And it just made a lot of noise. And the lights when I opened up this door, the headlights turn on. Oh. Yeah. You'll figure it out. You ready for a new day? Coffee. How'd you sleep? Pretty good. Yeah, did you hear me pee didn't hear or anything? I didn't hear anything. Did you hear me snoring? Nothing. My, my camera's still quiet. It should have half the insulation. I didn't hear a, I didn't hear a thing. I got it. Oh. You should have to be the same one. <laughs> So after our breakfast burritos and some coffee, we decided to pack up and head back into town.
I hope you enjoyed our short little trip. Thanks for sticking around to the end. And thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.